So obviously, Seamus, it was a long road for you to get to where you got to, to get your first PGA Tour win. What do you think was the difference in getting over the line the first time or even getting to the, to the level where you could give yourself the chance to get over the line? Yeah, I mean, I, I changed a few things in fairness, like like in the probably 12 months before it. As you said, I was kind of keeping my card, just losing it kind of right around that border. And at like 20, the summer 2021 was kind of the first time I kicked on. And, you know, it was, it was, I've kind of talked to a lot of people over the last couple of years. It's been a lot of smarter work rather than I probably hit less balls and stuff than I used to and all that stuff. And all that was kind of, was just coming to my mind kind of in that summer. It was funny, just was working much smarter, doing less, kind of hearing less voices from the outside. You know, it was just kind of me and Simon. And yeah, I mean, that, that tournament then kind of came together. I mean, I was lucky. I mean, when I look back, I mean, the other, like uh, JT made a bit of a mess that he finished, but I was able to kind of get myself in position. And at yeah, the playoff then was great fun. It was just, it was the weirdest experience. I hadn't been in a playoff before. And uh, yeah, six holes, but it felt like it went by very quickly, but obviously everyone back home was telling me how long it was going on. I remember on. watching it. Yeah. yeah, so it was, yeah, it was great. You know, it was just that moment where you always think you're in, and you know, believe deep down you're gonna, gonna win something, but it was to actually get it on paper and to, to hear it like said out loud, it was, uh, it was a nice little bonus there. Cool. You don't win on your own. Um, there's certain people that help you along the way, and I think Simon has been a big key for you, but you, st you started with uh, Bob as well, Bob Rotella. I did, yeah, it was, uh, that was right around that same time frame. I think the end of 2020, I went to see Bob for the first time. You know, he's one of those guys that he's a, like, he's a legend in the world of golf. And it's, it's funny, I mean, everyone, we all kind of heard all the stuff before, but when it was coming from him, it just kind of hit home a little bit more. But yeah, he's brilliant and it just kind of, just kind of strengthened those beliefs like deep down and then as you said Simon helped me all, all around on the course and yeah it was great you know you just pure trust in those people close to you and it makes a lot, lot of difference. So you won uh, back here in 2019 Nabi Dhabi and went obviously won the Open in the summer of 19 and then got the huge win and went there last fall like have you changed your approach or have you learned and kind of tweaked anything in your preparation or how you approach these big tournaments you know getting these wins? Have I changed a lot? I don't think I've changed a lot over the years. Like I've got the same team of people around me. I do similar things. I probably work a little bit harder than I than I have done in the past. Um, you know, the win in Wentworth was huge for me. But I think as a as a golfer, you're always trying to get better and you're always trying to figure out what are the right things to be doing. And yet, you, you know, you might come up with an idea, it might be the wrong thing. And I think the big thing you have to do is trust your team and trust the people around you. And I feel like I'm very fortunate that I've got a great team of people around me. So obviously where you are in the world of golf now with your ranking and stuff like that and where you are in the PGA Tour, you're going to have some different goals than you have had done in the past. How do you go about setting goals for this year that are achievable but push you to, to reach those goals as well? For me, there was a couple of goals I didn't reach like last year, obviously, so they're going to go back in. And yeah, as you said, the writing goals are also a little trickier, as you said, because they have to be achievable. You're not just want to write down that you just want to win every tournament and all this stuff. But yeah, you know, that's one of the things I, 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 use, I use Bob for, like discussion of goals. And then for me, it's the biggest thing is discussing like the, the smaller goals, like the step by step kind of stuff to reach the obviously the overall goals, you know, you know, one of them being obviously right or copier is going to make that yeah. team in Rome. But, you know, that's just such a generic thing to say. It's just like the steps that I need to take and the little things I need to do along the way in order to reach those goals at the end of the year. So you're known for uh, for being a very good player in tough conditions, being able to handle it. I, mean, I know like hitting the shots is only one part of it. The kind of mentality that comes along with it is like, you know, how have you been able to maintain that over the years? It is obviously more of a mental battle than anything else. I think I almost struggle when the shots nearly too easy. You know, um, is when the shots more difficult is when I, you know, stand up and and focus myself a little bit better. I don't enjoy it. Um, and people think I do and every time it's raining or it's windy I leave the locker room and half the tour is after saying to me oh you're going to love today yeah, but I, I don't I much prefer uh, you know 25 degrees and no wind but um, I'm definitely able to to play in those conditions yeah Seamus, great to see you also playing the championship for the first uh, time. Welcome uh, to Abu Dhabi. Uh, enjoy yeah, the so last couple of years, obviously, after you know getting a, getting a couple of wins, you know things have kind of changed for me. Even being here in Abu Dhabi, you know, a lot more travel, kind of more commitments. Obviously, you, uh, you have you're in a slightly different position, you have family at home and all that stuff. And how have you figured out how to kind of balance and manage that over the years as things have kind of changed for you with the you know with the Open Championship and all that? Yeah, it's tough and it's something that um, it's easy to get sidetracked from all the other stuff that's going on and even, um, 
you know, even picking a schedule is hard when you when you get up there in the world rankings and you're in every tournament and you almost feel like you need to play every week. Um, so the one thing I do is I sit down now at the start of the year, I'm very fortunate, I can go and I can pick my schedule for the whole year. I sit down, I pick my schedule and I stick to it and I, you know, no matter how the season's going, I don't add tournaments, um, I don't take them away, I just go and play where I feel like I'm going to compete and, and stick to that and trust yourself that you're going to play well. You know, it's working because it's it's easy, like I said, to get sidetracked of um, rankings and results and all that type of thing. But, you know, just back yourself to play well. You might win the first tournament of the year, or you might win the last tournament of the year. You just need to kind of back yourself that it, you're going to do it at some stage. Well, Seamus, uh, best of luck for 2023. Um, I'm sure we share a lot of the same goals and, you know, no, there's no better place in the world to get your year off to a fast start than here in Abu Dhabi at the... Uh, HSBC Championship. Let's see if I can use some of your tips to get me going. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>